in the track up I'm never gonna back down Hands over my heart I do this for my town I do this for my crowd So turn me up real loud My time, my time None of you people can tell me to stop Welcome to this tale of the Senator's season. I'm Kathleen Edwards. As we skate towards the halfway point of the regular season, our young team is struggling to win, yet still playing their hearts out every night. But an early Christmas present arrived with the return of Matt Duchesne, who, as of January 6th, had 42 points in 37 games. Despite missing six games with a groin injury, Dutchy is having what could be a career year. Matt is a real leader on this Senators team. And with Ottawa so close to his childhood home, he takes full advantage of the proximity. I'm from Halberton, Ontario. My hometown means a lot to me. I spend my summers back there. I started a clothing line last uh, summer to uh, help support a local charity. And you know, it's gone really well so far. I've known Matt for quite a long time because I played uh, junior hockey with his uncle Newell Brown uh, who coaches out in Vancouver. Matt was a big fan of uh, Joe Sackick, big set fan of Peter Forsberg. Those guys were terrific. Matt's a great player in his own right and uh, when you learn the right way young you usually end up having a long career. A lot of people know I was a big Colorado Avalanche fan, so having gotten drafted by them and playing for them, uh, starting my career was, was obviously really cool for me. And Joe Sackick, Peter Forsberg, Patrick Waugh, those are kind of the three guys I looked up to. And the cool part about that is I've had an opportunity to either you know play for them as a you know with a, with Patty being our, our coach for a few years there, and Joe was our GM, and uh, I played with Peter Forsberg his last two NHL games, so that was uh, obviously a really cool experience for me. I think it's one of those childhood things that you know you think something maybe just a dream but you know you're able to fall into the right place and you know things can kind of come true for you a little bit. Hockey, you know, country music and fishing are kind of the three things uh, my three passions in life uh, that outside of family and my and my faith. When Nashville played Ottawa on December 17th, the evening was dubbed Country Night. There were kids' games in the lobby, and rising Canadian country stars, the James Barker Band, played in the bowl during intermission. While the Sens beat Nashville 4-3 in overtime, Duchesne was injured and unable to play hockey. But he did play some guitar, joining the band for a surprise performance at Burt's Bar in the Canadian Tire Centre. My dad can pretty much play everything, so he, he had a band when I was a kid, and. I uh, kind of fell in love with uh, music at a young age, country music at a young age, and uh, he, taught, he, just, he taught me four chords and I kind of ran with it from there. Matt and his Colorado-born wife, Ashley Grossaint, were blessed with their first child on January 9th. With 10 games in January and Bo's arrival, they're going to be very busy. Scoring the OT winner against Nashville that night was young phenom Thomas Shabbat. As the new year dawned, this sophomore was second in the league in both goals and points for defensemen. Shabbat had an impressive 38 points in 38 games before yeah. being briefly sidelined with an upper body injury. Such a good guy, such a good person, uh, such a good pro. You know, I'm just such a huge fan of him off the ice and in the, and in the locker room. You know, he, you know, he doesn't have that sense of entitlement or 
or anything like that that you know you might see with kind of a young superstar in the making. Uh, you know, he really doesn't have that. Uh, he's a down-to-earth kid. He's humble. He's just a ton of fun around the room. He's fun to talk to. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, hey, eh, boys? You know it, you know it, you know it. To me, it's it's more impressive how he handles himself off the ice. Kind of sound like a dad when I'm saying that, but. <laughs> what a day. What a beautiful day. He's a great kid. He's got a lot of enthusiasm. He's a very special player, and uh, I think the best thing that I've seen about him is he's very humble. He's at the top of the league in scoring, and he's still, you know, a great guy to be around. He's very mature for his age too. He's, you know, he's considered one of the leaders on the team. We just dusted Smitty. When he came in here as a young guy, you could tell he had some things to figure out, but um, you know, he's well on his way now. You know when playing in this league, you know that you're playing older guys, stronger guys, and, and obviously you know that whenever you're gonna go in the corner and the guy's twice your size, you know you're not gonna win the battle in, in physical strength. You gotta use something else. You gotta find a way you win your battle. While Shabbat says his greatest strength is his skating, he has a deadly slap shot that he's constantly working to make more lethal. Most of the time, whenever I see the puck coming towards me, I'll try to get a look at wherever it's open towards the net. Um, obviously, you never want to hit guys or uh, make the other team block your shot. So uh, whenever I'll see it coming, I'll make sure I take a look at where I should aim. And most of the time, you'll try to get it there. It's not always going to go there. Obviously, it's not that, that easy. The good thing about taking a slap shot is that uh, at any time you can still make a pass even though you're leaning into it So because you're uh, facing the play. So uh, whatever is opening, uh, opening up in front of me, I'll try to try, try to go with it and make a play with it. On January 2nd, Thomas Shabbat was named to represent the Atlantic Division at this year's NHL All-Star Game in San Jose. That week, he began skating again at practices. That's a goal. Rebuilding is a winding road. And all roads lead home. Turning the track up, I'll never go back down. Hand over my heart, I do this for my town.